everybody, it's Monica with Fit Eats Coach, and today I'm back with day seven of 12 days of fitness. We're gonna be doing animal yoga poses, really quick, simple, effective yoga poses to relieve stress and banish aches and pains and muscle soreness from workouts. And at the end, if you want to try it, you can try the crow arm balance that I'm doing here for 20 to 30 seconds if you feel daring. So you can start um, in down dog position and then just float the knees down or you can just come down to the hands and knees and start from there. You're going to do about four or five cat cows where you're using your abdominals to round the back and then reversing that and really arching the back and lifting the head and chest, pressing into the hands and just getting a nice stretch through the entire front of the body and back side of the body. Then you just scoot your legs back a little bit, bring your arms way forward and drop the chest right through that opening into playful puppy. And just take a couple of breaths there, then come on to your stomach. And you're gonna come up into four or five cobras. Notice how I'm keeping the arms soft. I'm not locking them out at the top and I'm really trying to get my head all the way back in alignment with my spine. You do have to pull your abdominals in a little bit to protect the back and only come up as far as your body allows. From there, you're going into scorpions. So just with one leg bent, reaching back behind you like a big scorpion tail and then over to the other side. Make sure that you're facing away from the direction that that leg is going so that your chest and shoulder and neck don't feel any strain. Again, you're only doing about four or five of these. And then you're going to press back into Playful Puppy again holding it a little bit longer this time. You're probably gonna feel like you can go even deeper into that stretch. And from there, you're just gonna slide into everybody's favorite pose in my dynamic stretch class, which is pigeon. If you have trouble straightening that back leg, you can always bend it at an angle and do the same forward fold. You can even use yoga blocks or a foam roller underneath your arms to support yourself if you can't go that far down. But this is a really great stretch for the low back, the glutes, the hips, the inner thighs. It releases a lot of stress and tension in the neck and shoulders as well. And you just want to hold for about three really deep breaths, taking your time with it, trying to really relax the weight of your upper body onto your lower body. From here, you're going into butterfly pose. So bottoms of the feet together, knees open out to the side. You can rock from side to side. You can even lean forward. And from there, you're coming back to the hands and knees into a, a really deep squat, which is called garland pose. And from garland pose, you can rock into crow if you feel like it. All it takes is getting those arms in between those inner thighs, knees up onto the triceps, abdominals nice and tight, and then just leaning forward as your feet float up and you can hold as long as you like and then just rock back to the squat or kick the feet back into a plank and come back to down dog. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has been helpful. I will be back tomorrow with more 12 days of fitness to help you stay fit and healthy this busy holiday season. Thanks so much for watching.